Let's take a look at how to create a residual plot on TI3, TI4 calculator. So let me make up a, a problem. Okay, so we got some X values and Y some Y values. And I got, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I got 50, 60, um, 71, um, 30, and 20. <coughs> I'm going to put those in my calculator. So I'll press Tat, uh, do Enter on Edit. I already got some numbers here, so I'll press Delete to clear those out. Left arrow over, and I'll press Delete to clear those out. And for x values, we've got 1 through 5. So do 1 enter, 2 enter, 3 enter, 4 enter, and 5 enter. Put an x value is now 1. And the y values, we're going to put an L2. So we've got 50 enter, 60 enter, 71 enter, then 30 enter, and 20 enter. And after you get that, you want to make sure you exit out. So you do second mode. Now, you probably should already have diagnostics on, but if it isn't, uh, you do second zero to go into your catalog, and we want a down arrow to diagnostics on. Now you can just press down arrow quite a few times, or you can do alpha D, alpha X and negative one, twice, and I'll take you down to your D's. But however you get to it, you want a down arrow until you get the diagnostics on. When your little um, cursor is next to the diagnost diagnostics on, press enter twice. Okay, now we want to do stat. Right arrow to calc, and we want to choose linear regression, so I'll choose 4, and then press enter. And that's the first part. Well, then we want to go into our graph, so we'll do um, second, y equals, and we'll do enter on 1, plot 1. We want to select on, so press enter on the on, down arrow, and we want to choose the first one, the scatter plot. So we'll do enter on that. We want down arrow, uh, X list, leave as L1. If it, isn't our, if it isn't L1, do a second one to change it to L1, and then press enter. Under residual ID, if you, um, you probably have L2 there. You probably are looking at this right here. If you have L2 here, then you're going to do second stat, and under names, you see the seventh one that says residual ID. We're going to go down and choose that one. You can uh, down arrow to it and press enter on it, or just press the number seven. And that'll put residual ID in there. Now, if we exit out, do second mode. Now, press my zoom, and I want to choose number nine, the zoom stat. That's going to give us our residual plot. Now, um, to set your calculator back, um, again, I'm going to go back into my second y equals. I do enter on one plot one. Um, we're used to not seeing residual residuals there, uh, so I'm down arrow to y list, and I'll just do second two to put L2 back there, and then enter. So that's how you set it back. By the way, that's how you create a residual plot. Uh, do a second mode exit out. That's how you create a residual plot on a TA3, TA4.